Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about priming your miniatures. So uh, for a couple of years now people have been asking me how to prime miniatures. Um, so I'm going to try to answer th that right now. Basically there are a lot of uh, products out there that's meant for you to put on your miniatures when they are without any uh, anything on them. Some like this horse, this is a resin. So with resin it's uh, super important to remember to wash them in lukewarm water with some uh, dish soap uh, and um, yeah just uh, ask me the question about that in the comments if you want me to make a video of that the same goes for metal so these two you have to prep some more uh, with the plastic you're just uh, clipping the sprue gluing their miniatures and then you are ready to prime and uh, this one is uh, uh, made to put on uh, with an airbrush and this one is a rattle can so you just shake that uh, bowl in there like crazy for uh, one hour two hour till you get bored and remember to to use it uh, outdoors because its uh, fumes are you know bad for you and it smells funky so everybody that you're living with will uh, yeah it's just bad do it outside with this yeah it's uh, ever stuff so you put it in your airbrush and you can put on your mask and you're ready to go but guys this is the real cool stuff this one uh, I know for a fact you can put on uh, your miniature just by uh, using it like it is so shake it as well because you have a little uh, kind of uh, fluid here that makes the paint uh, flow, flow, flow better and you want that mixed so you have to shake it like a minute uh, pop that baby open and put it in something uh, you can put the paint on so I have here let's see semi clean stuff here so some drops here you can see it so I'm actually going to show you right now because I'm kind of hands on guy uh, not planning this at all but taking a brush and just uh, taking the black stuff I put it on right now uh, on, on the brush and you can actually brush it on and the coverage is really good it seems like it's uh, thin at first with your naked eyes uh, but guys I promise you when this is uh, uh, dried uh, and it's acrylic so it's going to be dry fast you just can uh, paint on that directly um so yeah <laughs> Pri why priming uh, you need some kind of priming for every other colors to stick to your miniature so without the primer uh the stuff you're painting on your miniatures will rub off the uh the miniature when you are uh handling it with your hands uh these uh, primers uh, makes uh, the surface a little rougher so it's kind of super tiny little bumps in the plastic uh, the metals or, or the miniature you know for the rest of the colors to to uh, to hold on to so you get this uh, cool miniatures and let's see I just you can see here it's uh, not that fast at spraying it but um, I'm going to leave it there. <coughs> but I can, uh, this is uh, ready, ready primed now. When it's uh, all black right now, so he will be ready to just put on colors on on top. Uh, and with the acrylics, it's going to dry up super fast. So uh, just paint it in one go. Don't leave it uh, so you don't have some weird uh, stuff going on with the miniature. It's like with the washes, you need to, when you are committed to put on the washes where you want to have it, uh, do it all at one go, don't don't leave anything. So I just have to to complete this guy. And I just wanted to, to put on the topic of uh, how to spray with your uh, uh, rattle can and how you, you should do it also with uh, the airbrush. And uh, let me tell you, the secret is uh, both is the same way, it's the same motion you want to go with your uh, spray spraying uh, uh, the miniature 
So let's go, let's go, let's go. It's almost done here. I'm just talking to myself right now. So I do believe I have hit everything. And, and uh, what is really cool with this brush on technique, if you are spraying your miniature and you have missed a spot, you don't have to go back and spray more afterwards. You can just uh, take some uh, of this paint and put it on. Um, Guest Workshop have uh, a, a color that you can uh, paint on as well. Um, I have that brand and it. Uh, I don't know if that, that is the bottle that was made um, not right or anything. There you go, plastic all done, red to col color. But um, for me, that uh, batch of Imperial something something, it uh, went bad and it can't be used as a primer. Anyways, priming with the rocket can and also with the airbrush. Uh, the motion is kind of simple, you know, shake it. And what you do, what you want to do with uh, uh, miniature, when you're spraying it, you're hitting down this, it is uh, downwards motions and, you know, and then let go, then let go, then let go. So you're kind of letting the, the paint uh, hit it uh, like a rain. And then you can turn it upside down and for the bellies. And you can, of course, do different colors if you want to have lighter bellies, darker, you know, whatever. And you can pre-shade it first with black and then you can go over with white just on the top for senatal uh, effects and then uh, thin down paints and everything. Okay, so that was kind of a hands-on uh, how to prime your miniatures. Uh, hope it helps. Uh, I don't want to spray this inside. Uh, <laughs> if I hit this, everything done uh, in this direction will be hitting with black. Uh, you don't want that. You want to be outside and spraying on something that uh, it, it can be black and you want to use some kind of gloves um, yeah, you don't so you don't have this on your hands because when you get primers on your hands This sucker will uh, take some time to uh, get rid of because it's it's sticky It's kind of sticky the primers and kind of the purpose of the primers to be sticky So you can stick the uh, rest of the colors on it Okay, Th I hope this helps um, Leave me comments uh, Yeah, anything. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye now